Yo, welcome back everybody to our brand new Pokemon TC Live Temporal Forces deck video, and today I want to show off a really cool Arceus Armor Rouge deck that almost got top 8 and top 16 at EUIC this weekend. So, big shout out to my friend Julian Gortberry, who unfortunately lost his win in to top 8 at EUIC with the Arc Armor Rouge deck, and then unfortunately he bubbled out of top 16 by getting 17th place, which is so sad, but he did do really well with his Arc Armor Rouge deck, and basically put Arceus Armor Rouge on the map. Now, Julian's been on this deck for a while now, even before rotation. I remember telling him at a League Cup that I would actually do a video on this deck eventually. And look at that. Now it's the perfect time to do it as he put this deck on the map at EYC. Now, this deck does have a lot of really cool options because it is a firebox deck with all kinds of different attackers and different lines of play you can use. So one of the main attackers, obviously, being that Arceus V-Star. We already know it's a really strong card right now. works really well with Giratina and stuff like that. But it does allow you to put energy into play with Trinity Nova, which actually synergizes nicely with, of course, the Armor Rouge with the ability Fire Off, where as often as you like during your turn, you can move a Fire Energy from one of your bench Pokemon to your active Pokemon. So what you can do is you can put a bunch of energy in play with Arceus's Trinity Nova. You're probably going to have to power up like another Arceus, but you get a bunch of energy in play, and then you get an Armor Rouge set up, and you can move energy to the active, and you can kind of pick and choose what you want to attack with. Some of the big attackers in the deck are, of course, the Delphox V with that magical fire attack, which can do 120 damage, and then 120 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Sometimes, you can take multiple KOs with this. This can be really good against Lost Box when they go Frenzy Gouging against you. You can potentially take three prizes with Magical Fire. There's also the Gouging Fire in the deck, a brand new card we got with Paradox Rift. It just does a nice big 260 damage a lot of damage of course if you put like a choice belt or a maxim belt on gouging fire it can hit even harder numbers against v-star and some ex pokemon like pidgeot and then there's the armor rouge ex one of the best cards in the deck now it does have that attack scorching bazooka that does 40 plus 40 more damage for each fire energy attached to the armor rouge so the idea of the armor rouge is essentially that once you get a ton of energy in play this thing can do big damage now if you can do 280 damage with six fire energy on it plus the maxim belt you can one it kill Charizard X, and then Charizard X can't really kill you in return because of your Crimson Armor ability. If Armor Rouge has full HP, it takes 80 less damage from attacks, which is insane. Taking 80 less damage from attacks is nuts. This thing essentially has 340 HP with that ability, making it very hard to want to KO. Sometimes Armor Rouge EX literally takes you two knockouts on two two prizers, which a lot of the time puts you so far ahead that you're probably going to win that game. And of course, we got the Radiant Heat Rain in the deck, another extremely powerful card in the deck here. Basically, it sits on the bench and you use Magma Basin to put more fire energy into play for your Armor Rouge. And you can also put two damage counters on the Heat Rain because you can Magma Basin to your Heat Rain to build up Raging Blast. That does 70 damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. Putting four damage counters on it lets to do 280 damage. But of course, before you do get in the video, show to the sponsor Card Cabin TCG. Of course, if you're going to be picking up any Pokemon TC Live pack outs, get them over at Card Cabin. If you're going to be looking to get any Temporal Forces code still or an older set, or you want to get some IRL TCG singles and product, get them over at Card Cabin. If you get anything at Card Cabin at the checkout, use my discount code, code LDF for a 5% discount on your order. Help channel, help yourself out and up our Card Cabin. So shout out to Card Cabin. Check them out. Use code LDF, link down below. Also, make sure to check out my second channel down below for some extra content. Got some EUIC content on the channel this week. I just uploaded a video where I looked at every deck that got top eight. And eventually, we're going to be doing a video where we look at every deck that got day two at EUIC. So yeah, definitely check that out. Link down below to my second channel. But yeah, I wanted to pull up the list here once again for the full deck list view. I will leave a link to Julian's Twitter in the description below if you want to go check it out and uh, see what he said about the deck. Because I'm sure he replied to some tweets talking about the deck. Um, but I do like the 60. It's a really interesting 60 with all the attackers you can use. It's not as, you know, linear as Arctina. There's a lot of options for attackers, and it is still very cool with what you got. Now, of course, some other stuff, you know, you got the Mew in the deck. It's a nice pseudo draw card, and you can use genome hacking with the Armor Rouge. And Mew is a lot better right now due to Giratina and probably going to be a lot more popular after this weekend since it did almost win EUIC. Giratina V-Star stonks are way up. Um, the supporter account is pretty simple. There's no Eeries, no Judges, no Turos, nothing like that. We're just keeping it very straightforward with the supporter account. Pretty sure this deck just beats uh, Control, by the way. If you just fill your board up, with Pokemon other than like maybe the Delphox and the Gouging Fire, you're probably chilling against control because you do have the basic, you have the Delphox and you can just set up a bunch of Arceus. You have Mew, which can also attack Mimikyu. So 
But you have a lot of options against control there. So we don't really need to over tech the supporters. Just keeping it very simple. Iono, Research, and Boss. The only card I like maybe don't like is the Squawkabilly. If you do miss like a turn Arceus, it is very important to like get a Squawkabilly. But I'm not too sure that the Squawkabilly is super necessary. It kind of feels like a bit of a liability. Um, that's the only thing I maybe don't like about the 60. But other than that, I mean, the 60 is really solid. One thing I like about this deck too, I wanted to quickly mention, is that if you whiff a turn energy attachment on your Arceus, if you can at least get a Charcadet down turn one, sometimes what you can do is you can Armor Rouge, Magma Basin, fire off to your active Arceus, and then get a double turbo on, building the Arceus V-Star up in a single turn, allowing you to attack if you miss out on that turn one Arceus V-Star energy attachment. That's one thing I do like about this deck, is it does have a way to safety net if you do whiff an energy attachment, because that's really bad sometimes you're playing arc it feels so bad to not get that energy turn one on the rcs let's go show off the arc arm rouge deck in action see what it's all about and see how it can do i begins charizard here we are going second uh, unfortunately we open up with mew which i actually don't know if that's a great opener in this uh type of matchup we have a pretty interesting hand too three magma basins uh i mean this could just be a research hand I'm not sure we'll see what our top deck is okay yeah, we're up against charizard here I don't want to Iono, obviously. That doesn't seem like a great idea. Yeah, opening up with Mew feels pretty bad in, in, in against Charizard because we're not able to utilize um, the effect of Mew at the end of the game. Because if my opponent does end up taking one prize, ideally on Heat Ram, Mew can take out a Charizard in one hit, but it's in play now, so it's, it's going to get KO'd at any point in this match, basically. And we are going second against Charizard, which doesn't... Uh, do us any favors. The best thing is they open Cleffa, though, so they can't really use Cleffa right now because they're going first. But going second here just means we're not able to get the first attack, which is a bit of a bummer. Okay, let's we'll see if we can get double tails here. That'd be nice. Heads. I guess we can look through our deck. I mean, some stuff I want to keep. We can get rid of, like, one V-Star, I guess. Yeah, we're going to research. Obviously, we can't do Iono here. It's just not going to happen. All right, full send. Whiffed the energy. Oof. Not like this, bro. Okay, I could Mew to try to draw the energy. But we do have Magma Basin, so we actually still have the attack. I'll probably... Okay, no way they have Hurricane Charizard. They have a three-card hand. They do not have it. I'm staying in the active. It might have been a little risky to do that, but... They're definitely not knocking me up this turn. There's no way they got it like that. There's no shot. They're definitely just going to do Cleffa. But we can Starbirth here and Magma Basin. Ooh, they're going to Iono. They actually might get it. Oh, my God. They had Iono the whole time, bro. What a sack. It's not a great hand. Oh, God. Here we go. Let's see. No way they got it like that. Rare Candy Charizard me one time, bro. Go ahead and do it. I dare you. Yeah, no, if we, if we lose this game, it's going to be because we have Mew in play. There's, like, nothing I can do about that. It's definitely the worst-case scenario to start with Mew. It's pretty bad. Pretty bad. That was a good Iono, because now I lost my ability to potentially go for... And he make my base in plays, which kind of sucks. Not like this. Hmm. We do have the Iono, which is nice. At least we didn't, like, completely break off that. I don't know. That could have been a lot worse. Could have had a way worse hand. We'll see. But yeah, we can Iono them here. Figure something out. And we'll make something work, hopefully. All right. We need to be able to attack this turn. That is not a good top deck. I don't need another fire energy. Hmm. It's going to Iono. We can still get the attack off. I got Armor Rouge, Ultra Ball... Fire energy, double turbo, it's still possible. And there it is. Look at that. Bing, bang, boom. We hit the combo. Alrighty then. So let's go attach. We'll nest ball for, I guess, Bidoof. We unfortunately prized our heat rain. I was going to get heat rain there and then base into it. But that's fine. We got the ultra ball. We'll grab ourselves the armor rouge. We got some synergy here, which is nice. This, like, isn't terrible for us. Uh, we'll see how this goes, though. We're going to take the first knockout on this Cleffa. And, I mean, we'll see if they get Rear Zard. They don't have a Rotom or anything in play. We do a couple more Fire Energies. All right, that's fine. We can save our Starbirth. We don't really have to do Starbirth here, obviously. It sucks if we had a prize Heat Ring, because it would have been really good to have in this matchup, but it's fine. Um... 
Let me see something here. Let me see. Yeah, we grabbed Arceus already. Okay. They might not get my Arceus on the bench, which would be a pretty annoying thing to do. So hopefully our Arceus doesn't die here. Because we probably want to just get these energies and play for, like, Armor Ruji X or something. All right. Knock out the Cleffa. We'll see if my opponent's got the rare Candy Charizard. We have a bit of a bricky hand at the moment, though. We do a Starbirth, though, so we can make something work. There's Switch. Okay. The problem is, though, is Mew, right? If Because ideally what can happen is if my opponent takes... If, if they ever knock out Heat Ran, because we're eventually going to use Heat Ran this matchup, they basically walk into a Mew knockout at the end of the game. And that's kind of what we wanted to play into here. So having, just having the Mew in place is so bad. It was good there because they let us draw cards, but it's just it's probably like having Mew in place is so bad for us. But let's see. Do they have Rare Candy Charizard, Rare Candy Pidgeot? I did Iono them off of their Cleffa. Looks like they still got it. Oh, boy. We'll see how this goes. They could go for, like, a Prime Catcher on my Mew. That'd be pretty bad. Wouldn't be good either. If they take a two-prize KO here, we could Delphox them if they don't get Manaphy down, but I don't think that's really going to work, unfortunately. I think at this point, we just got to start swinging into them. Prizing the Heat Ran, though, is really, really bad. Yeah, Prizing Heat Ran really sucks, not going to lie. It was not what we wanted to prize. We can Starbirth for Ultra Ball. Okay, we can figure something out. I have an idea for next turn. I have an idea. Yeah, unfortunately, it looks like I still somehow I own them in a Rare Candy Pidgeot, Rare Candy Charizard. Somehow that happened, but here we are. They got it anyways, of course. They're down a boss and an Iono and a Research, which is good. We'll see if our Arceus V gets KO'd or not. I kind of want the V to live. I want to make sure I can get two V-Stars down, too. We still need a lot to set up here, so we'll just see how it goes, but we're getting somewhere. They could Heat Tackle me for 30. Because then when they go Charizard next turn, they can knock me out, which would suck, with, like, a Choice Belt. I doubt they'll do that, though. They're probably just going to go Rare Candy Charizard. We'll see. All right, let's see what they got. What are they cooking? What are they cooking? Yep, there it is. Unfortunate, I still gave them the nuts, of course. Iono's a lie. I own a lie. F. All right, so this is not good. Um, it's pretty bad. Pretty bad. They got the Pidgeot Charizard out, which is not great. Uh, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We have to probably. I think we have to do the Armor Rouge here. We have to Armor Rouge them. That's the plan. Okay, they have a two-card hand. Counter catcher. They had all that, bro? I knew I gave them the nuts. And they're going to knock out my Mew, which I'm fine with. I'm fine with this. Yeah, that's fine. Kill my Mew all you want. Go ahead. Yeah, so I didn't like having the Mew in play, as you can see. But it is what it is. I figured they were going to knock it out. They just have the nuts. They had a Rare Candy Charizard, Rare Candy Pidgeot, and a Counter Catcher. That's pretty annoying. Hmm. So, what am I doing here? You can just hit them for 180. I No, I need to get another Arc V-Star in play. They can... Oh, well, they have a three-card hand. They have Prime Catcher, though. They can Arvin for Prime Catcher, Choice Belt, knock out my Arceus on the bench. Yeah, we got a Starbirth here. We can... Grab Ultra Ball plus V-Star, because we can get Bibs. Kind of like that. We can get rid of the Fires. Okay, this isn't too bad. We can grab the V-Star... Ultra Ball for Bibberol. Can't really bench any more two prizers at this point, though. Want to get another... Uh, yeah, I want to get maybe, like, Charcadet here or something. Okay, I'll Bibs for three. Okay, there's the Armor Rouge X. I need Maximum Belt now. Okay, let's play the Aroma. Flipping Tails. All right. Not sure there's anything left to grab. <laughs> yeah, at this point, there's nothing left. Well, I guess we could theoretically get the Gouging Fire... But, like, they just clap me with the Charizard anyways. I guess Maximum Belt, Gouging Fire, Kills Pidgeot. That's something we can look to do. Maybe that's what I could have gone for there. I'm not sure. We need Maximum Belt so I can KO this uh, Charizard here. Because we're close to being able to knock it out with uh, the Armor Rouge. We just need Maximum Belt. Because we have Boss next turn. Can boss Pidgeot. Okay, I'm just gonna hit him here. They might just boss my Bibberol, though. 
which I'm fine with. Yep, yeah, they boss pit roll here. It's not too bad. I need to find this maximum boat, but we can get a ton of energy in play on our arcs. Got the basin still. All right, we'll see what they do. Yeah, I, I guess I could have benched the gouging fire because, like, they there's probably they're not gonna probably build a knock it out here um, unless they have rare candy Charizard and a Gust in their hand, but. I don't want them to just be able to take a two-prize knockout. If, like, if I bench Gouging Fire, we're probably just going to lose the game. It's just probably not worth it. We need to play into the Armor Rouge. Again, prizing of this Radiant Heatran and starting Mew are just really bad omens right now. We needed those two specifically to try to combo together to beat this. Because now we're just like at the mercy of them just going quick search every turn. It's like, all right, cool, bro. Man, way too cool. So it's like, what do you want me to do? We're on... Odd prizes, too, which kind of sucks. I mean, it's not a great scenario to be in. Speaking of scenario, the Turo scenario, the Charizard. No, dude, not like this. Not the Turo. Oh, my God. Yeah, this, I mean, this is just, it's Charizard, bro. It's a disgusting card. However, we are going to be able to one-shot them here with Armor Rouge, potentially. So this isn't the end of the world, I guess. Hmm. We'll see what happens. I could knock out Pidgeot, I guess, which wouldn't be terrible. Armor Rouge X. Does have a ton of HP. It's got 340 HP. They can't one shot me with Charizard, so. We're probably going to play into the Armor Rouge X here, I think. That's going to be the plan. Play into the Armor Rouge X, knock out the Pidgeot, maybe. Yeah, this is actually fine. If Armor Rouge can take two knockouts, then we have a chance of winning the game. And I think we might be able to get to that point. Okay, so. Let's go Armor Rouge. Retreat. Just make sure we can do enough damage here. Okay, so let's go. Magma Basin. Yeah, we're going to kill the Pidgeot. And then if we can find Max Belt next turn, we might be cooking. Okay. Let's go Fire Off. Let's go. Get those two on. Let me just make sure I know how much damage I'm doing here. It's 160, 200, 240, 280. So we need three more energies. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right. That should be enough to KO. Yeah. Sick. So if I knock out Pidgeot, we go 270, the maximum belt's 50. Still not a KO. So they can't one-shot my Armor Rouge here with the uh, Charizard. Okay. Nice. Bye-bye, Pidgeot. Alrighty then. This is our only chance of winning this game. If we get Heat Rain, we're chilling. Nope. Damn it. Okay. We have our... Uh, do I have a boss left, though? Okay, I do. So we might need to clean the game up with a boss. Okay, we're hoping they're bricking, too. We do have Bibberol, so if they Iona me, it's not that bad. Okay, yeah, Charizard can't one-shot me. Do they have a Gust? If they have a boss here, if they have a boss, we can try to go Iono to two. Hope they don't get another rare candy Charizard. If they set up two Charizards here and KO my Arceus, we probably lose the game. Okay, there's Iono. We do lose that research. Again, if we can find... I mean, we can knock him out without the Maxim Belt, but it would just be easier to get the Maxim Belt and take the knockout. Oh, they get Bidoof here. That's pretty bad. We'll see what they got. We need this Maximum Belt. Okay, another Pidgey. I don't think they're getting another Pidgeot up, so I'm fine with that. Okay, sure. What's that other two cards in their hand? Do they have a Gust? Do they have a Gust? I don't know if they're playing Tord. Okay, they're not playing Tord's list. They're playing the Williams list, I think. Yeah, because I got the the TM Devo in the car. See what they're doing here. They can. They're doing a lot of damage. 270 plus 50. Not KOing me. And they actually, oh my god, they retreat. Wow. Okay. That's like the last of their fire energy now. That's good. All right. Be my guest. They're going to heat tackle here. That doesn't do any damage. And they actually just concede the game. We ended up taking the dub thanks to the Armor Rouge EX. And that's how you do it. All right. I thought this was going to be a lot closer. Again, prizing Heat Ran, having Mew get knocked out immediately because it was our starter Pokemon. Wasn't fantastic, but we ended up pulling through in the end with a win. One thing I like about this deck is being able to attack with Arceus when you miss a turn energy attachment, thanks to the Magma Basin. So that was one thing that I really enjoyed about this deck in that game there was, despite us not getting uh, the energy on, we were able to Basin and turn into, and we still managed to get an Arceus out on our second turn by with an energy attachment turn one which is pretty good and armor rouge x is the key to winning this matchup as you can see that was close that was very close but we got the dub i think we're against lost tina my opponent starts with iron leaves oh don't be an attached pass oh my god well i don't think we're gonna get turn two ko'd i i mean we're just gonna hold the hand i'm not gonna iono them so 
It's going to Trinity Charge here. Uh, should I put two energy on for the Armor Rouge? Uh, I'm trying to think if it's worth it to put two energy. Can we get punished for this? I mean, we might retreat Arceus. Yeah, sure. I'll put two energy on. Sure. I don't know. I'm like trying to think if there's ever a reason to like put two energy on. Just to have the option to get more energy into play turn one. I don't think it matters, but we'll do it anyways. So, it's fine. We can kill the Iron Leaves with Maximum Belt next turn, which is pretty sick. We got Choice Belt in the deck, which can put in work, too. Um, but yeah, the, the matchup against the Lost Tinas, I, I don't actually know if it's favored or not. There's a lot of things we can do. We have Gouging Fire, Choice Belt. We have Radiant Heat Ran. We have Armor Rouge. We have we have a decent amount of lines in this matchup, actually. So this isn't a terrible matchup for us, I think. I'm hoping it's not. They're probably going to get a basic here off this Colrus. So they're probably going to move the Iron Leaves. Maybe we won't be doing any Max Bell shenanigans after all. Look at that. Okay. Wow, that... Okay, yeah, that's unfortunate. They had a loss on two Tina V-Stars. Oh my god, that's crazy. Are they just going to Abyss Seek here? They might actually be Abyss Seeking. Okay, that's fine. Um, I can't kill the Giratina. I don't think so. Yeah, there's no way we can one-shot this, obviously. But even just getting damage on it is pretty good. So we have the Iono, too, which is nice. Ultra Ball. Okay, so let's go do this. Do I bench Heat Ran? Do I ever get punished by benching Heat Ran? kind of want to be able to base into it first. I'm just going to Iono. I'm not going to bench Heat Ran. We need Armor Rouge. I'm not going to Ultra Ball. All those cards, other than maybe the Double Turbo, were all pretty valuable cards. So, yeah, that's fine. All right, we got a Nest Ball. Try to get b established real quick if we can. Oh, we have Mew EX, too. Oh, we're chilling. Bibberl is prized. It's unfortunate. Hmm. Grab another Charcadet, then. Unfortunate prizing. That's fine. Nothing I can do. Let's train Nova. Save our Starbirth. I mean, I guess they could theoretically, like, Greninja me here and knock out my Charcadets. They did Lost on a Water, and they have no Comfies in play. I mean, if they Greninja me, so be it. I guess I should have Starbirthed for an Armor Rouge. Whatever. They're not Greninja me. I... Pff, nah. Not happening. I'm going to call their bluff and say it's not happening. There's another Tina. It might just be a Bissigan again. But if I can just keep building up a lot of energy, we'll have all these lines and attackers to deal with these Giratinas. Yeah, they're just going to keep sending in the Abyssics. That's fine with me. Das cool. Das cool. I'm fine with that. There's a Greninja. My opponent's got no Comfies in play. They are playing on a very weird board state right now, but that's just what happens when I guess they had such a slow start. They're not playing the Isaiah Bradner list, it looks like, because there's no... If the Water Energies are in the deck, Isaiah didn't play that, so it's not the Bayonet build, which I don't think Bayonet really makes a difference in this matchup for my opponent. I'm just going to Bisseek again. So my Arceus is probably going to kill it, but keep in mind, they did just lost some two Giratinas, which makes me feel pretty safe. This is a good time to actually get Heat Ran in play. Okay. Should I Iona or Research? Okay, we can Starbirth for a Fire Energy and a Radiant Heat Ran. No, nah, I don't want to waste Star. That's stupid. Do I just Iono again? Keep shrinking their hand. They didn't play a Colrus. Nah, it's fine. We'll Research. Okay, cool. Um, Nice. So we'll get this guy down. Retreat. I want to try to do a lot this turn. Oh, I should have retreated a fire energy, actually. Okay, that was a misplay. I should have retreated a fire energy. So I wanted a base and a heat ran. That was a misplay. It's fine. We'll just star birth for fire and choice belt. That was a misplay, though. I, I should have retreated the fire energies, kept the double turbo on, right? Because I wanted to go for the knockout here with... Uh, I want to set up heat ran in the background. That's what I meant to do. Whatever, it's fine. We'll just do this instead. The poor man's... The poor man's heat ran. This kind of works out anyways. So we'll just go here. We can base into Heat Ran. Because now Heat Ran, we just want to make sure we have a Heat Ran that can get ready to like one-shot a Tina. That's kind of my thought process. They can't really Sableye this thing. So. Let's knock him out. We have Gouging Fire as an option. Probably want to get Mew in play too if I can. That'd be pretty nice. Get the Mew set up. That could be pretty good too. All right. We're in a pretty good spot right now. My opponent has down two Tina V-Stars. The knockout there is pretty big. We have Heat Ran lurking in the background. I mean, they do have a heavily damaged Giratina, and we finally got the Bibberol. It might be a little too late to set up Bidoof, though, I think, because I already got the Sableye. They're already at 6. They probably got a Colrus. We'll see, though. 
mean, it's looking pretty good. We saw the knockout one Tina and then just KO Iron Lee's for game. I don't think we can really, like, I don't know. We just got to just not play like an NPC. We should be fine to win this game. See if they're playing any other supporter. They got the Confius uh, Rescue Board, which is pretty good, or Emergency Board, whatever it's called. They lost on a third Tina. That's good. They're only playing three Giratina Vs. They can't set up a second one here, which is actually not bad for us. So I don't really want them to set up a second Tina. The two prize KO is good there, too, because we can't get Roxanne until we probably KO another Giratina, which gives us time to set up a board state. We can probably set up Checkmate, to be honest, if we can get uh, Mew and Heatran fully established. That's like, yeah, that should be like a Checkmate board state. There's Colrus. Okay. They could go Greninja here, go 90 on Armor Rouge, knock out Char Cadet. That would be a little annoying. Um, but we have Boss. We just KO their Heatran. It's like, all right, well, if you're not taking on my Arceus, who cares? So I don't really care if they do this. Okay, yeah, we can maybe set up a checkmate scenario. We'll see what my opponent ends up doing here, whether it's Giratina or Greninja. They could go Iron Leaves this turn, which, I mean, I could still just respond kill with Heat Rain, though, if they go Iron Leaves. That doesn't really work, but they could. They could go Iron Leaves if they wanted to. It doesn't knock me out, though. I mean, if they're, if they're not taking out my Arceus, I really don't care. Especially with the one with the Choice Belt on. If they're not going to vacuum this Choice Belt off, every time they just bench a Tina V, I'll just boss KO it. It's like, if they go Greninja here, bench another Giratina, assuming they're playing four, I'll just boss knock it out. I'm like, okay. Another Tina gone. The only thing we're missing is, like, a draw so a draw card on our bench. Like, a Mew or a Bidoof. We can't really bench Bidoof anymore, though, because it's going to get Sableye. It's too late. Prizing Bibberol, it's too late to do it. Oh, they're just going to spit. Oof. Not great for my opponent. It gives us more time to set up our board. We can just boss kill the Giratina. It's probably going to be the plan. Oh, Countercatcher. What are they bringing in? It's got to be the... I guess they're going to kill the Charcadet. Are they going to kill Charcadet? But then they put another Fire in the discard. I can get another, I can get another uh, Basin Pilk here. No, the Heat Ran. Okay. That's fine. Heat Ran can still kill Giratina here. It's all Gucci. Oh, you know what? Yo, Heat Ran's doing a million damage, dude. This is actually kind of funny. Okay, so... Let's do the fire off here. We'll just boss Heat Ran, yeah. Was, or boss Tina, sorry. There's no reason not just boss Tina. Nice. Um, Might get Rock Sand. Might as well play that now. And then we'll just... Raging Blast for 910 damage on this uh, on this Giratina. That's a lot of damage. 910 damage is a lot. Holy moly, get cooked. I guess they can Greninja my Charcadet and Heatran now, which is, I guess, what they were planning to do there. But I guess, um, no, they could go. They can Greninja knock out Char Armor Rouge and Heatran, but I that's fine. They could have, like, a Roxanne turn here. Um, but if I can just get my Mew and play, it's, like, probably game over. That was a pretty nice KO. That was a lot of damage. Yeah, they can Sableye, I guess, or Greninja. Take out Charcadet. Yeah, 30 and 70, and they have 20 left over. Hmm. It's a little awkward, I guess, but not a big deal. We're just, we're, we're, we, I, we're too far ahead now for my opponent almost to come back. Like, it's not looking good. Okay, they do have a vacuum in their deck. I think it was worth it to play the, the Maxim Belt or Belt there because one of the two would have been lost zoned anyways. Probably, and we also want to get them out of the hand so I don't draw it off of a Roxanne. So I think it was fine to just burn the Maxim Belt there. It's not a big deal. The Iron Leaves is barely even a threat anyways, so I'm not really worried. It's weak to fire, so who cares? But, again, play the Maximum Belt, because we get Rock Sand. I don't want to draw into it. I want to make sure we're drawn into at least one playable card here. Assuming this is the Rock Sand turn. Oh, another Counter Catcher. That's two Counter Catchers played so far. That's annoying. They're probably going to kill Armor Rouge and Heat Ran. If they don't KO the Char Cadet, though, that's fine. No, they bring in the other Arceus. Interesting. Okay. But now they can't Greninja the Armor Rouge. So I can just move the energy off. And there's the Roxanne. Okay. That's fine. Let's see. Roxanne's a lie. We got Mew. Nice. And we got DT. Pretty good Roxanne, actually. <laughs> Pretty good card. Those are two good cards to get. Do they have a fourth Giratina? They do not. All right. There is no Giratina in play. And if I really wanted to... Oh, they have double loss vacuum. Wait, what the heck? They play two vacuums? Okay, that's a little annoying, but whatever. Sure. I'm not even sure I want a Basin anymore because the Sableye kind of makes it... Cause I, the one thing with Armor Rouge, you can't get one-shot by Lost Mine. If I Basin to it, it gets knocked out by Lost Mine, so it's like kind of rough. 
They're board locked. They can't bench Caratina. I could just wait until I set up a knockout on the Iron Leaves, but they actually just concede the game anyways. It was basically like grim for my opponent. I, I don't know if I really could have lost that point if I just play well. We could have nest ball from you. And yeah, it was looking pretty good. We uh we we're in a very commanding position there. All right, going to this game. We're going first. I have no energy, but this could change with the mulligan. We're up against a loss box, and it looks like it's turbo loss box. All right, this matchup, I think, is kind of 50-50. They have Hoopa, potentially, and that's the scariest thing they have. They have Hoopa. But we'll see how it goes. We do have a good start, assuming we can get an energy. And if I don't get an energy, we can play into the Starbirth or Armor Rouge Basin combo. Um, but we'll see. An extra card always goes a long way. That's a pretty good card. I'll take it. All right, let's see what our top deck is. No energy. So it looks like we're going to have to probably do the Armor Rouge combo. We have Heat Ray and Mew, Gouging Fire, Delphox. Delphox could be good at the Frenzy Gouge Me. Be doof. We have Bibberol in the deck. We have Double Armor Rouge. Do we have Maxim Belt? We do. Okay. That's going to be a pass for me. And then next turn, we'll have to Starbirth for DTE Ultra Ball. Hmm. I need a supporter, though. Nah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We got to go for the... Uh... We have to go for the attack, though. Against Lost Box, you got to put on pressure. One thing in this matchup, too, is Ionos. How stable are our Ionos going to be? That's everything, too. We need to be able to Iona my opponent. We have to be very mindful of every play my opponent has got. It is a winnable matchup. I'm pretty sure, actually, Arc Armor Rouge was on stream at EUIC versus Lost Box. So we might kind of see history repeat itself. The match ended in a tie, but <laughs> it's possible uh, we could see some results. My opponent's got a pretty good turn one, though. Body Poffin into a Colris. That's pretty good. No counter catcher. That's not bad, actually. Considering we're probably going to be ahead in the prize trade here. They could get the turn one spit. That's fine. Their best attackers are Hoopa and uh, Roy Moon. They might not play the Hoopa, though. and it, Or it could be prized. It's a little bit of a gamble to say that, but you never know. Okay, the Agra Ninja. That's a little scary. Yeah, so if I can draw... Uh... If I could draw Fire Energy, Armor Rouge, Double Turbo, a Supporter, any of those four cards off the top deck would go a long way so I can actually draw cards. I'd want to get another Supporter so I can play the game. If I draw an Armor Rouge, we can Ultra Ball for Mew EX. There's a pseudo draw card, so that's my thought process here. That's what I need to get. That's what I'm going to need here. So we're going to need any of those pieces so I can do more stuff next turn. That's the plan. The Prime of Greninja, which is fine. Looks like no cram, potentially. Could be good. No cram? Okay. Yeah, can we draw a piece of the puzzle so I can draw cards? Nope. Damn it. Looks like we're going to have to brick for a bit. Uh, I mean... I could just research. Try to gamble for the double turbo. If they get a knockout here, though, it's so bad. Oh, I don't like this. There's no supporters prized either. Doesn't help our case. Could just do DT research. If I whiff though. They definitely have return KO here. Ah, uh, this is tough, dude. Why can't we have a good hand? Hmm. Honestly, I think I have to just go for the... I think I got to go for the play here where I go. I think I just go for it. Yeah, I think I got to go for this play. No, no, I got rid of choice belt. They get Raikou. I might need that. Okay, whatever. Yeah, I think we just go for the play here with the uh, with the research. Just hit a DT, and it's all Gucci. We hit the DT. We even got the Heat Ran for the Magma Basin. All right, all right. See, now we're chilling. Now we are chilling. I think it was worth it to go for that. And it paid off. Let's go. Um, Kind of want to get Bibberol, but like, there's nothing in the hand to discard. I guess I can get rid of the DT. Kind of want to get Bidoof here. Get the Bibberol out before my opponent gets to Sableye. They could Greninja it, though, with like Prime Catcher. But they can already KO Heat Rain and Shark Cadet, so it's like, who cares? Oh. Now, you know what's fine? Yeah, I'll do it. Sure. I want to get, try to get Bibberol out as soon as I can, so I'll just go ahead and do this. Okay, it paid off. We got the knockout. 
I should have put the choice belt in play. I don't know why I discarded the choice belt there. Kind of uh, whatever. I was kind of too lost in the sauce. And we're just going to put the energy there. They could respond Kale with Hoopa, but that's fine if they do because we can have we have the maximum belt response Kale plus Iono. So that's good. All right. Got a switch. Not a terrible prize. They try to stall me. It's good. All right. We'll see if they have Hoopa. If they don't have Hoopa, they're going to moon me. But if they moon me, we could try to go for a potential Delphox VKO. KO the Comfy with the Rescue Board and uh, knock out Roy Moon. All right, let's see. Artisan, that's fine. I mean, I'm cool with this basin sticking around for the entire game. <laughs> that must have been a big flower sect. I mean, the Arceus is definitely dead. There's no way they ain't killing me here. The question is, what are they going to kill me with? Okay, they have a vacuum. That's fine. The maximum belt might be able to stay and play a bit longer, though. Yeah, this matchup is basically, can your opponent keep up with the attacks? That's essentially how this matchup goes. Can they keep up with the onslaught of attacks? And uh, if they can, it's pretty bad. So that's essentially how this matchup's going to play out, and we are going to see if we can make it work. Okay, they are out of stadiums. Actually, it might be their only... That might be the only way to get rid of the basins. So, like, I don't think they have another vacuum, so that's good. Most of us play one vacuum, so... I can get a basin to stick the entire game now, which is nice. Okay. I guess I'm glad I didn't play the choice belt because I'm not. I putting the choice belt on the Arceus could have been a misplay because then I can't play maximum belt. I would prefer to go heat rate next turn, but we'll see what we got cooking up. All right, like I said, there is a definite chance they're going to take a prize this turn. The question is, what? Hoopa, Moon, Greninja. What's the play going to be? If they go Greninja. They can prime catcher me, or boss me even because they're already at. They don't even need Colrus to get to seven. We'll see. They could hands me this turn. Like I said, I have Maxim Belt. Not too scared of getting iron hands. There's the Prime Catcher. So they are going for the Greninja. They're going to go after my Heat Ran. Rip. I was kind of hoping they weren't going to do a knockout. I'd rather them kill the Arceus there. That kind of sucks. I want to use Heat Ran in this matchup as a one prizer to attack them with. So that's kind of unfortunate. Um, they're killing my Char Cadet too, which is whatever. It's not a big deal. We're chilling. We got the Maxim Belt and stuff. All right, we're fine. We just Iono. Go from there. They could. Ooh, what if they actually go around? No, nah, they're not going to go around Heat Ran right now. That'd be a bad idea. They could. I was thinking they might go around Heat Ran. I don't think they're going to, though. Okay, there's Mirage Gate. That's fine. If they don't kill my Heat Ran, because I'm thinking, what if they go, what if they go like 90 here and knock out Charcada? No, nah, they're definitely killing Heat Ran. Nah, Heat Ran ain't staying alive. They might try to stall it, though. I wonder if that's in their brain. But, I mean, I have Fire Off. That's a bad idea. I don't know. Let's see if they're going for that. Probably not, but you never know. You never know. We can Iono them. They haven't played a Colrus, but we're definitely going to have to Iono, obviously. I need to get a Bibberol down and uh, go from there. Get Bibberol. Wouldn't mind getting another Charcadet in play? All right. Is the Heeran dead? Or are they going to try to keep it stuck in the active? I doubt they're doing that. Yeah. They're going to go Knockout, Knockout. Oh, no. They... Not the Bidoof, bro. It... Oh, my God. It doesn't work. They try to hit the Bidoof. No. <laughs> Well, good thing we got the switch out of the prizes, so we could just go back into Arceus. Or should I just attack with Heat Ran? Honestly, uh, I can attack with Heat Ran and just guarantee the knockout, but we can also get more energy in play, which is pretty good, too. That was kind of funny. All right, we'll just Iono. I'm not going to play the Maximum Belt. I guess I could have. They're down two of their big gusting cards. Maybe I could have played the Maximum Belt. I don't know. Okay, we need Bibberol here. I'm hoping for a big heads on this. Tails. Yikes. I guess I can still get Char Cadet. Because they go Sableye. They can't knock out two of them. They can only knock out one. It's a 60-70 split. Okay, that's fine. Honestly, I probably could have benched Delphox. Wouldn't have been terrible either. Let's put a bunch of energy in play. I ain't scared of the Hoopa at the moment. So, uh, yeah, I don't really care about Hoopa. Because we could just knock it out with Heat Ran or something. I wanted to get potentially Basin set up. Okay. We'll see what's up. My opponent misplayed really badly there with that Greninja. I mean, we're in a really good spot now. Unfortunately, my opponent tried to snipe the Bibberol or the Bidoof, and it did not work because Bidoof's ability. They should have brought in the Bidoof with the Prime Catcher. It's fine. All right. Uh, we have another Iono, so if my opponent takes another knockout here, we can Iono them to four and then kind of pray we get Bibberol or something. Okay, there's Moon. So the Moon was prized. The question is, do they have Hoopa, though? If they go Moon here... We just Delphox. It's probably what I'm going to do. We just Delphox, probably, yeah. Are they going Moon? Better for them to go Hoopa, right? Because they go Hoopa, I'm forced to go Radiant Heat Ran. 
We'll see. Well, they play double moon? Oh, okay. I don't think they're playing Hoopa then. If they're playing two moons, I doubt... Well, no way they're not playing Hoopa. They are playing the double moon, though. All right. That's fine. They are indeed playing double moon. They got to kill the Arceus here. They can't just leave the Arceus alive. The Arceus needs to get knocked out. My opponent can't leave it alive, so... We'll see. Honestly, I probably got to put the energy on this guy. Like, put it all on this guy. Because, like, they're down their prime catcher and their counter catcher. So all they would be able to do is boss. But they still have Mirage Gate. So I think it was fine to split the energy up just in case. Just playing a little safe. All right, let's see what they end up doing here. They got seven cards in hand. Do they have a knockout? They should be able to knock me out this turn. I'd be very surprised if they didn't. I'd be very surprised. Taking out the Greninja is good, too, because the Iono will be a lot stronger. So we're going to Iono knockout here, I think. That should be the play, right? Yeah, Iono knockout. Either I own okay with Heat Ran, I own okay with Armor Rouge, or I own okay with Arceus or Delphox. What would be better, honestly? Delphox or Heat Ran for the knockout? Oh, they're going to spit. Oh, they got nothing in their hand? Oh, let's go. Oh, they got nothing. This would be a good turn to Delphox. But alas, it's not an option. We got Bibberol finally. I mean, I should probably get the Bibberol. It's, like, kind of an important card. Uh, Takeo Cram or Takeo Comfy with the Rescue Board? They're down two Switch Cart. And no Switch. Nah, I'll, whatever. Just kill the Cram. It's fine. Yeah, we'll kill Cram. It's fine. No big deal. Let's get Bibber Roll. We're at the point now where you can just kind of win with Delphi. They go right in front of the Gouge. I might need to retreat Arceus, though. Can we be for two? I could have bossed the Roaring Moon 2 to hit it with Arceus, so it's harder for them to do that. We got a Magma Basin. That's a huge find. Okay, we actually can just attack with Heat Rain here, which is probably the better play, to be honest. Yeah, and then we can, like, eventually Gouging Fire and Maximum Belt Kale them. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Discard the two fires. I can Basin them back out. Uh, no. We sh um, no, we'll get rid of the Double Turbo. It's fine. Yeah. We'll attack with uh, Heat Rain here. I guess if I knew I was going to do... Uh, I guess I actually could have killed the Roaring Moon with Heat Rain. Yeah, I could have done that instead, actually. Whatever. You know, it's cooler to Delphox Fox for game anyways. Assuming we get to that point. They can just discard the Stadium with Calamity Storm, but that's fine. We'll knock him out. Take our prize. Ooh, there's Boss. Yeah. I want to... Del Fox for game is cooler. Don't worry. Nah, we definitely probably should have went for the... We probably should have went for the Boss there. I think I probably would have been able to kill the Roy Moon he ran anyways. Um, but I, I guess I didn't know I was going to get the Magma Basin, though. Maybe I should have got rid of the Research. But they could Rock Sand me, right? They could, like, Rock Sand Sableye. I don't know. Whatever. It's fine. Not a big deal. Would have been nice to kill the Roy Moon there, but I didn't know I was going to get the Basin. It is what it is. My opponent... The thing is, they kill my he ran. They still have to take four prizes, which is, like, not great for them. And I can respond kill with, like, either Gouging Fire. If they were to Frenzy Gouge me this turn, I can Delphox for game. If they don't bench Manaphy and they don't see the Delphox coming. I doubt they're going to Gouging Fire, or they're going to uh, Frenzy Gouging me here, but you never know. You never know. Okay. Let's see what they got going on. Ooh, Dark Energy gets lost. So that's two down. They have, like, what? One Dark Energy left, maybe? Okay, they found Super Odd. They can get Greninja back out. They could Greninja me here. If they have the resources in their hand, they could Greninja knock out Heat Rain and Charcadet. But I do have Boss in hand. Okay, no, they're just going to Mirage Gate. Yeah, they're probably going to kill me with Calamity Storm. But then we can knock out the Roaring Moon with Gouging Fire or Maximum Belt. One of the two probably gets me there. Kind of annoying they go to the Basin, though, actually. It's fine. Should be okay. They're only getting one prize anyways, which, like, makes me feel pretty good. I can also attack with the other Arceus with the two fires on it. And they if they gouge and fire me, they knock themselves out. Okay. And that's fine. He ran put in some work, and that's all that matters. All right, let's see if we can get the gouging fire here. That's ideal. Okay, well, Iono. They didn't play a Chloris. I don't really want Iono, but I have too many good cards in the hand. I can't really afford to lose my bosses or something, just in case. We got Armor Rouge X. It's not bad either. Okay, might as well put that down, sure. Draw more cards here. All right, can we get Gouging Fire? Nope. Oof. We got Mew EX, which... You can Mew for the knockout? 
We have to give up two prizes. And then they could just win on the spot. Oh, that's an awkward idea. Uh, Honestly, we can probably just punch him here with Arceus. It's probably fine. I don't think I can get punished for that. They could have boss in hand. They don't have a stadium, though, so they can't knock this thing out. Okay. Yeah, it's probably fine to attack with Arceus, honestly. Not a big deal. Because they can't gouging fire if they are frenzy gouging me. Sorry, I keep calling this thing gouging fire. It's a stupid thing. It's got gouging in the name, bro. Okay, whatever. Let's just hit him with the Arceus. And see what they do. We are one energy off, for the record, of being able to knock out with Scorching Bazooka. So that kind of sucks. But should be okay. My opponent does have five cards in hand. I did Iono them, and they didn't really do much last turn, but like a supporter. So I probably gave him something with the Iono, but... I need to protect my hand there. We now actually can set up Delphox, though, too. We're at the point where we can now Delphox our game. Because Sorority Moon is heavily damaged. So we still have the option of Delphox, too, at this point, which is good. So we can still win next turn if they don't bench me in. If we can Delphox our game, which also works. We got lines, baby. We got lines. Yeah, if I win Mew for the knockout there, they just go potentially... They just kill my Arceus and win. I think it's better to play it safe. Just hit the moon, because now I can Delphox them. They probably won't see the Delphox coming. I don't even think they play Manaphy. I'm just gonna lock this play in i think this is fine because they can't really go roaring moon their other roaring moon is in law zone so we don't have to worry about them going double moon or anything if they get a man if he hear this buddy pop and that's a little sketchy though do they see it coming if they get man if he, it's a little awkward no man if he. they can go in a greninja i guess and maybe it's harder to delfox them if i can shuffle the deck though i can't find boss okay well whatever we'll see what my opponent does if they go into Greninja, I could also just win with Mew, actually. So it's like, doesn't matter if they go Greninja. If they go into Greninja, I'm either going Mew for game or Delphox for game, actually. I lied. Because, yeah, Del Greninja can't get killed. Uh, Delphox can't kill Greninja because it does 120. But we can also just copy Mew. You can We can go into Mew and then copy Greninja and knock out Comfy and uh, Moon. It's all good. There's a Colorus. No Roxanne or anything. Let's see what their play is here. What can they do? What can they do? They're in a very awkward spot. They have... Yeah, they're in a very bad spot right now. They either kill themselves, and then I win. They hit me with Clammy Storm for 100 damage, and I go Delphox potentially for a game if I can find it. How many ball cards do I have left? Three Nest Balls still. Oh, we're definitely getting the Delphox. 15 cards with a research. Yeah, okay, we're definitely getting Delphox here. If they go into Greninja for a turn, I go Mew for game. Unless they bench Manaphy. I guess they could knock out my Delphox here with Greninja. But they're down a counter catcher and a prime catcher, and they've already cold wrist. So I highly doubt Greninja's gonna take a knockout this turn. Unless they play two counter catcher. I doubt they do, but you never know. They have two counter catcher, I guess that gets a little sketchy. If they can knock out my armor rouge, it's kind of annoying. Because then I can't go Delphox for game. Or Mew for game. Because I have no other armor rouge in play. But I don't think they have a gust. And they actually concede the game. All right. It looks like we can't. <laughs> I wanted to do the snipe play, unfortunately. They concede before you get to do it. But good match. Uh, they misplayed by not killing, by trying to kill my Bidoof there. But knowing that they played double moon with, like, no Hoopa, it looks like. It was pretty easy to kind of play into the play into the the, the, uh, the Delphox shenanigans. Delphox is really good against Roaring Moon because they frenzy gouge your Arceus. You can Delphox for three prizes if they don't punch a mana fee. And there you have it, folks. That is Julian's Arc Armor Rouge deck in action. Once again, big shout out to Julian for almost getting top 16 at EYC with this deck. The Chark deck, as it's called. And I like the deck. It's a lot of fun to play because you have so many different options for attackers. It's a lot uh, more diverse than something like Arctina, which is a little bit more straightforward with what it's trying to do. I think this deck's worst matchup, Julian said, was Shem Pao and potentially Ancient Box. Those are two pretty bad matchups. In fact, Julian lost his winning in two top eight at EYC to the Roaring Moon the Dunsparce deck that got top eight at EYC. So those are probably your bad matchups. But overall, the deck is good. If I were to cut any card, maybe cut the Squawk Ability. I'm not a big fan of it. It's just such a liability to have. But it is a good card, I guess, to play in the deck. And Julian probably found a reason to play it. Um, but it is the one card I would maybe consider cutting out of the deck is that Squawk Ability. But this deck is a lot of fun to play. And with all the different attacking options, you can make some pretty cool plays happen in today's video. And I'll leave a link down below to Julian's Twitter. I'm sure he... Uh, 
answered a few questions on Twitter about how to play the deck and stuff, matchups and everything, which probably gives you a bit more of an insight on this deck. But yeah, that'll be for me on today's video with the Arc Armor Rouge deck. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe down below. Help me on the road to reaching 59,000 subs. We're on the road to 60k subs, baby. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe down below. Check our card cabin if you get any codes. Use Carl Jeff. Check out my Twitch, my Twitter, my Discord, and the second channel down below for some extra content. Um, and yeah, that'll be for me. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch y'all later. Bye-bye.